Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2019 so um, <clears throat> while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a, a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and therefore is going to resonate differently with every single different Sagittarius. So for that reason in this video I will explain you the meanings of the cards and we will give a couple of examples as well how this uh, reading can manifest. We will explain you the synergy. Uh, in the spread but at the end you have to align that reading with your personal situation now if you want me to analyze your personal situation just like I'm doing here for the examples in this video um, that is a subject to a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings so uh, these are the cards that we do have for you now. Three out of a four major arcanas. And uh, for what it seems, this is a, a typical ending and a beginning of a new year. Now the topic here with the world card, it is kind of showing that this is going to be the very last uh, endeavors of your behalf uh, to finalize your uh, your projects, your goals or your things from the previous year and now as the new year starts to start clear and to build up a, a new perspective for yourself. It's literally what, that's, uh, what that card is pointing or this is going to be the topic so you should aim for to make that happen. Uh, if you do have uh, for example uh, unsettled disagreements with your partner into your relationship it will be good thing throughout that week to kind of resort uh, those disturbances and those issues uh, career wise you know if you do have some um, unspoken uh, I don't know words uh, recommendations or in general you want to tell something to somebody it will be good that you do it throughout that week because you have to face the new year that it is coming with these cards completely unclear com as a brand new thing you know as a uh, being completely naked in front of the world so you should not carry on a uh, burdens from the previous year into the year of 2019 and that is associated with the uh, quality of the uh, of the world card liberation so you have to liberate yourself from previous responsibilities and previous burdens as much as you can now the, the life isn't perfect and nobody is capable to do that to its full extent but as much as you can to do it the more brighter the future is going to seem and uh, the only problem that we may have here throughout that particular week looking at these cards is the lack of direction where to as you you know settle down uh, the previous undertakings of yours that is displayed here by the moon card next to the um, next to the world card by the way we do have passive friendly cards here so it does look like that this card this week is going to be physically inactive but in the same time it's going to be a, a week where you have to kind of count, count on your resources and as well count on your capabilities that it is very important now you should not be surprised throughout the week if a, an opportunity that comes out of nowhere it kind of hits you and uh, you gotta start basically walking down that road uh, that is, is very likely because the moon card does display exactly this road that is the core of the situation or why you have to finalize everything uh, as much as you can so you can embark your new path that is your new path happening here throughout the week and uh, this path is very unknown in the sense of that what is going to happen along the way how much you have to devote into it you know uh, and as well how much resources you have to throw in as well it will be pretty much unknown throughout uh, throughout the week the whole definition of the path that you are going to take is going to be placed on but uh, the um 
the cost of it if I may express myself that way yet is to be unknown now uh, this could cause a little bit of a fear uh, within you you know not knowing where where you're going and yet you're feeling compelled to go on that road a uh, very typical example here is uh, uh, meeting that handsome guy right after you know finalizing a divorce or finalizing a breakup here and yet you are not feeling entirely ready to um, to involve yourself into a new um, endeavors here but in the same time you're feeling compelled to do it you're feeling mesmerized at that guy you're feeling like if you don't do it you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life now the important thing to be acknowledged with these cards is that you should not re uh, that you should not resist that urge to embark on a new road even if you don't see the where that road is leading you because the moon card it's uh, it's uh, I don't know how to explain it really this card shows that that event happening for you this enterprise that is to start materializing for you Sagittarius is it is very important thing for you even though uh, at that specific moment you cannot see its ending you cannot see its final destination yet it is something that you have to experience one way or another and right now the conditions to experience that thing uh, this enterprise are very very favorable now you will be you know free from burdens and responsibilities as much as you can or as much as you can ever hope for which is going to create additional resources and additional time for you to invest into this um, new part either new relationship new project or a new job and to um, give your best shot uh, because as I said you know many things are going to be uncertain and if you carry on uh, a burdens responsibilities or even worries from the previous uh, from the previous year that will continuously feed on a possibility of you experiencing anxiety throughout um, uh, throughout this year and not being capable to maximize on the potential that the end goal of this unknown part it is holding for you again either relationship project new job it depends on your personal situation <clears throat> so the challenges which are causing predicaments here this is the four of swords and actually no one can help you with advice basically this is what that card points the more you try to seek someone with accurate perspective with you know with um, objective assessment upon um, upon your situation here with the moon and the world card the more you're going to realize that actually no one can give you the answer you seek nor a, um, a um, um, astrologer numerologer or tarot reader if you want to say that if you want to take it that way as well a uh, good friend of yours no one I mean this what you are seeking as an answer here comes through experience not through someone else's knowledge so you have to build up that knowledge of experience for yourself either career wise or either relationship wise and just to give you a, a very grim example I'm not saying that this is gonna happen with you alright but yet I want to give you the grimmest example that comes in my mind let's say that we are following the relationship thing and uh, you jump into a, a new relationship right after you have finalized the previous one and you see going uh, moving further uh, along the way that this relationship ain't gonna work out as well well as I said with the moon card there is always a reason behind it which means that you would have experienced one more disappointment in case disappointment is the path that you have to walk upon once more one way or another and it is better sooner than later all right so it's kind of like you should not resist it whatever it is and yet it could be something very good for example you could be approached here of being a, a, a leader of a certain project and even and you may feel yourself uh, scared to do so because the responsibility is way too big and you ask for advice oh my god what you, what I should do how should I approach that project and etc etc and no one can give you the right formula I mean you alone have to find it through experience <clears throat> the last card here that we do have for you Sagittarius is that is going to be the Sun card which is the uh, general guidance that Taro is offering to you so what the Sun card here points is that you should 
uh, maintain the good terms with everybody around you. The Sun card is the card of peace, is the card of uh, mutual tolerance if you want to say it that way as well. It is a, a card of joy and when you have an ill terms with someone you cannot experience joy whatsoever. As a matter of fact the Sun card is linked uh, very tightly to the common happiness which means that if one of your co-workers isn't happy you will not be able to experience um, the happiness in its full extent I mean the co-workers that are involved into your uh, into your undertakings same thing goes for your relationship if your partner isn't happy it is likely that you are going to be unhappy as well so what this card here is pointing us is that you should contribute for those for the happiness of those you care about because their happiness is going to be your happiness as well. If you want to follow the card for on a more practical level, this card points to success. So it's kind of like a confirmation here, a slight confirmation that ultimately that road, uh, road of vagueness, this uh, scary path that you are to embark, ultimately is going to end up successful. And as well, the card may point to monetary success as well. So literally could tell you, go for the money. If you do have a choice to make throughout the week, you should go for the money. Couple of jobs to take, you go for the one that it is better paid. A uh, <clears throat> couple of people to choose from, you go for the one with a better standard of living, and etc. etc. It is basically what the card points go for the money in case you want to follow its practical meaning. So, that being said, this was the uh, tarot reading for you, Sagittarius. Now, let's see what the Lenormand cards are to say uh, for you. They are going to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid one way or another. So let's see. So the first card that is going to be the scythe. Now the scythe it means harvest or it saps the next card. It basically cuts it. The next one that is going to be the gentleman which plays the role of a man and the last one this is going to be the anchor. The anchor stands for solidity, it stands for long term as well, it stands for hope and it stands for security. So this uh, uh, this these combi this combination could mean a couple of things. You either going to banish a person who threatens your stability from your uh, social circle or from the team that you are working in, or that could be your boyfriend as well. That it is that that it is threatening your stability. You know, finalizing one relationship, being ready straight away to start a new one, or it could be harvesting a man so you can boost your stability you know so kind of like attracting a new man whatever it is uh, it will involve a a man a male that one way or another is attached to your comfort to your long-term goals as well and in generally it is going to give you hope now this man either jeopardizes or boosts that sense of hope and you have to define for yourself so that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, <clears throat> this was just a general reading for Sagittarius' star sign. And uh, for that reason, uh, <clears throat> in this reading, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, uh, you have to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation just like I did for the examples in this video. If you want um, your situation to be just like those examples and tarot cards are drawn specifically for it, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye.